Hello, I'm Code Ross, and I'd like to welcome you. First of all, let me just take a moment to thank you for allowing us back into your homes. If this is your first time with us, let me extend a personal invitation for you to log into Roblox and build along with us each week. Now, go down to that subscribe button, click it, and let's go over to the canvas and let's get started. So as you can see, uh, I've already got some of my canvas started here, just for a little pre-work. Now, this is going to be uh, pixel art that we're, we're using with all of our different colors. As you can see here, I'll, I'll be using all these colors from the different trees of lumber. And you can use any color that you like. You know, this is, this is your, your creation. If you find a color that you just don't think is, is right for the job, find another color that's close to it or something similar. Now, what I like to do is, normally I'd draw pictures of trees and scenery itself, but tonight I'm gonna do it a little bit different. We're actually going to do a, a self-portrait to thank Code for letting me onto his channel to show you my works. So, when I'm building a reference of some kind, uh, a pixel art, I like to use different references from nature and go around and just see what, what inspires me. And tonight, that's going to be a, a self-portrait of myself. So, we're going to go ahead and continue on with our, our build here. And with this color right here, it's the same color as our paintbrush, so I'll just grab some more in times wood. That's nice silvery gray if you, if you need a metallic look or a, a metal look. It's a nice color to have. Let's stick that right in there like that. Good. Now each one of these, it's going to be its own individual colors. What I'll do is I'll go grab some red, some green, maybe a little bit of blue. We'll just beat the heck out of them. <laughs> beat, the, beat the devil out of it. Nice red right there. Good. And if you slip and fill in one of the wrong pixels, that's okay. Because we don't make mistakes. We make some some happy accidents when we're filling in our blueprints. If you happen to be on a an Xbox or a controller of some kind, that's much, much more skills needed probably than I've ever had. We'll pull just a slight amount of this blue right out here. Set it down. This blue should go right in just like that. Now, we can fill these three in right here, just so. Pull out our small paintbrush. Let's set it right there. And then come along, come along the edge with the, the one by one brush. And just kind of fill it in there. Just tap it in. And you know you don't you don't have to be rough with the, the blueprints. They will they will do the work for you. You just let that canvas move and off they go. There we go. That's a good one right there. And one more. I think, if I'm looking at these correctly, yeah, those are the, the same color that we need. Oh. And just place a, another happy little block down, just like that. And we can take and we'll just we'll blend this one in. Show you how to how to blend your brushes. Notice how we have two right there, and that is over the 50% mark. We have another one that's not quite the same. That fills in just nicely. It blends into the, the most color that was available to the brush. Yeah. 
Now, let's see. We're going to be doing the, uh, the ice wood. Ice wood is a nice, nice light color. Kind of like, kind of like my shirt. So I think that'll, that'll fill in. Before we go too far with trying to brush these up, if we look at the distance right here, we can go just to the top of our arm, like that. And just on the opposite side of our arm. Come back and we'll get our small blueprint. We'll just brush these in, just like that. And we'll do the same right here. Brush this one in. And right here at the end. That's good. I like that. That looks good. Clean off your <clears throat> clean off your brush a little bit and come back down here and grab some of the ice wood and just beat the devil out of it. Make a happy little pixel right there. Put him right there with his friend Clyde. And remember, when you're making your creation. All in your imagination and how you want it to look. Just take a stab at it and do your best. And everybody's different. Everybody's going to have a little different take on how that goes. How to fill in your blueprints or how to bring that creation to life. Just let it, let it pop into the the world. And we'll just we'll, we'll blend that on up. Let that blend perfectly, just like that. And I like it. I like it when the color's already the right shape and size for me. a good color. We've got plenty of it, so I'm going to take a little bit of this gold and we'll just mix it right in. There we go. Good. I think that completes the shirt portion. portion to this is uh, it's going to be our beard. We're going to be using that brown again. Same same brown as before. We can either use use our our belt brown, which is a little bit lighter. I think I think we'll go for that same color. This one right here. That'll be a good color. Good color to have. So, let's go over to the walls and We'll find a smooth short wall. If we turn that up on its edge, it's gonna be four tall and four wide. We'll take that and stick it right here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we should have a two by two. And stick that. And then just across the bottom, we got another four by four wall. So 
let's go to short, smooth, hold. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Turn that on the judge, just like that. Then if we do another turn, just like that. Now this next part, we're gonna we're gonna use a combination of. Uh, of a post which has four pixels on it and two tiny floors. Turn this up on its edge and we'll go right on top of that like that and just fill that in. So if we head over to the tiny floors, fill these two in, one and two. And then right here in the middle we're gonna fill these two, one and two. That'll be the, uh, the beard portion. Should look good. Now, I need to bring that, that beard over just one more smidge right over here. So let's, let's switch over. Hit B. And we'll go with that small floor again. Let us let us put in one more little pixel right here. We'll make that part of the shirt. It'll look good. Let's see. Yeah, we're, there we are. Now don't be too fast, just like that was. I don't think we're gonna need any more of that blue, so we'll just move that off to the side. We can we can always use that in another project. We're gonna to need to go back to that wall, take that short wall and rotate, turn it up right on its edge. And you can use almost anything to paint. All you have to do is practice. So Pixel right there. And if you're having trouble with it, you can always take that pixel, just move it down right like that. There's no shame in pulling it down and filling it in on the ground. It's just as easy to do. Put that right back in. We'll go and grab that small wall one more time. Just stick it right on there like that. Now, let's go ahead and start chopping these up. We'll just make our palette first. If you if you want to count them, you can. See how many pixels you're gonna need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks about about ten units of brown wood. Just like that. Glorious five. That's a that's a grand grand five. Now I'm lucky because I can come in here and enjoy myself every single day. But one of my favorite things to do is to come inside Lumberger and just relax and let my mind think. Just appreciate all the different builds that you come across in, in the wild. As, as you meet other people and they tell you their ideas and show you their creations. It just it makes you feel good. It makes you feel good to know you're part of that community too. And everybody kind of just accepts accepts you for who you are. Now, I might have 
to climb up on the back side here. And it looks like that one's gone right over the amount that it needed to. So we'll just move it on down here. Just and pull one out. Like I said, it's it's always easier to bring that percentage down than it is to to try and build it down to the something below a hundred. So there we are. It's looking really good. I like that. That's nice. So let's go ahead and fill in with our our mouthpiece. This one right in there. And one right there. Perfect. We'll head back over. And if you use a post, you can fill in all four of those at one time. Slide it in. Good. Lift it. And we'll just come back to our, our neutral color, our skin color here. Fill in the, uh, the blueprints that we have. Very good. Very nice. And just lift it right up. <sighs> Next, we're going to put two pixels down here on the side. Let's, uh, Let's fill in the face first. The face seems like an, a little bit of an easier job. If we if we take our time, we should be able to do a small floor on either side. Here. And one right here. And that'll leave room for for post on either side. So let's go to our post. And we'll set these up right on the edge. Make sure it's just one pixel down from the side. And then we can fill that gap in. This little gap's just just gonna be a tiny floor. Just a, a slight edge. Like that. Good. Looks like our our eyeballs are gonna be three by three. And we don't we don't have a three by three, but what we do have is we've got a small short wall, which should be about the right size. Nope. Let's go ahead and go down to floors. We'll do a small floor. I take that back. We, uh, we do need that short wall, just like that. We're gonna go one, and two, and three, just like that. That looks good, that looks real good. Then we should be able to do three on the left, three on the right, then fill in our eyebrows. We're just about done, so. Now, make sure you don't get in a rush. Take your time with pixel art. It always looks better at the end.
little guy just didn't want to go in there and maybe he was having a bad day. So we'll give him a little bit of help here. A little bit of help. And that's starting to fill in like that. That's nice. Now, across the top of the eyebrows, it's just going to be three pixels on each eye. We'll come over one pixel and put in a nice dark gray. And one, two, and three. Then we'll come down one. And we'll do the same on the other side. One, two, and three. Come down just one. Now, like I said, I don't have a I don't have a good color for the, the gray, but what I do have is this much darker brown. I, I think that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use that darker brown to accentuate the eyebrows just show it's a little bit different colors in the hair. Now, it's also at this point, to, if you wanted to start building on the ground instead of hopping around your canvas, you can do that. Or get a little bit of exercise in your life and hop around and get on up there. choice is completely yours. You have either option. Either one. I sometimes think at night and dream about my next creation that I'm going to be doing the next day and it just kind of comes to me in the middle of the night. Which is always always appreciated. I always like that. Should be able to see uh, see the portrait coming together, nice and nice and easy. So, as you can tell, that that one's having a little bit of difficulty going on the canvas. We'll just move it down and we'll set it right. Set it in there, so. Oh dear, looks like we don't have enough walnut wood after all, do we? So, take a quick look around the edge here. And we'll have them go fill that up for us. Need a nice, uh, nice dark walnut. Need a small paint refill of dark brown. This right here, if you don't mind. Have them run off and grab some of that for us, and we'll continue on. So I do, I do want to take a. Oh, 
now just a moment we've got we've got two to fill in here we've got walnut wood just enough looks like we got 48 percent with that one right there bring a tiny piece like that just blend these in said we don't we don't make mistakes every happy accident that comes along is a is a lesson for us to learn something something new an opportunity to better ourselves and to help those around us take that last little pixel and we'll Move it down to the floor, see how much this is worth. It's right there at the 48 mark. That's good. So, we'll take another little piece of our blue wood here, just a tiny bit. Slide that in. There we are. And we'll do the same with the uh, little bit of end time that we had. Good. Blend that on our canvas. Now that those are in, we can come back with our tiny floors. We got one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And that should give us the amount that we need for just above the eyeballs. Thank you. Yes. That's the color that we need. Oh, oh, oh. That looks good. Looks good. Real good. favorite things to do is blend the different colors of wood and see what kind of color pops out. There we are. Now this will make it much easier for you since we're starting to build up high. That way you don't have to quite move around so much. If you got a lot of exercise at the beginning when you're jumping around on the model and Trying to build. Just like that. Very good. So, let's go ahead and fill in those eyeballs. Let's see if a floor will fit. Looks like a floor is going to be a bit too big, so let's bring it back down and do a small floor. Do one on this side, and one on this side. Now, should we place those up a little bit? No, 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 no. What I'll do is I'll... Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll fix the funk a little bit because we don't have a, a one by two, but what we do have is if we rotate and turn, we'll take one of those small floors and slide it in just like that. That way we're not using up quite as much spook wood as we want. And then if we do a, a turn on the side, do the same thing on this side. Just fill in that one by two. And 
that just leaves us with a single tiny floor, fill in the edge, and fill in the edge. Now, let's go find us some spook wood and make our eyeball. When it comes to the spook wood, it is, it's going to take you quite a little bit of hitting, but just take your end times axe and beat it till it falls off. Right there. Good. It's a nice color. Nice color to fill in with an eyeball. And if you come a little bit further past the uh, one pixel mark, that's perfectly fine too. You can blend that on the canvas and make it as big or as small as you like. The point is, have fun with it, you know? Play, play with the colors. Play with the blending. And it looks like a... Uh, Jeremy is going to assist me here. Just pop it right up like that. Very nice. Thank you, Jeremy. Jeremy, everyone. And we'll continue on. Looks like we're going to need two more, two more pixels. Good. We'll go back over to our reference. And it looks like we're going to need three more of those skin color ones. So let's grab one, two, and three. We don't want this spook wood falling into it, so we'll move it back out of the way. Oh, looks like I got off a pixel right there. But that's okay. Leave it in there and we'll just blend it on in. <laughs> I like how these uh, don't quite work out some, sometimes like you had intended and it gives us a good opportunity to know that the world's going to be okay if we have a a little mistake here or there. You don't have to be perfect. Nobody has to be perfect. You just have to enjoy it as you're making it. And it looks like we may be out of that kind of wood as well. Just ran out. You know? Oh, oh. Have a tiny piece right there, just waiting for us. And that's a that works out to be just the right amount. That's a perfect size for what we're needing. And here it comes. Good. We'll go back over and we'll we'll blend this back in. Now that's not the same color. Let's see if we have, we don't even have a, a bend for that one, do we? 
acorn elm tree. So, no, well, we might have one back here. Are these them? That is not them. Need a little bit lighter color. Just a slight bit lighter. All right. You need that wood? Yes, please. I believe it's a pine or fir. Possibly, possibly elm. But getting the color close enough is okay as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the hair now. One, two, three. Four, five, six. We're going to need six across. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go with the, let's go with a large wall. Or a large floor. We'll just rotate this and see if it fits right down in there. And it won't. So. How many pixels is this? One, two, three, two, three, four, five. Looks like this is this is five up. So, ah, oh, thank you, Jeremy. Let's see, matches the wood. It does match. So, let's go ahead and blend it on into our sawmill let it do its magic and should come out this other side wonderful long piece here that's a nice nice plank That'll give us plenty of ink, plenty of pixels. Jeremy, thank you. Scully, thank you for being here as well. Dark Iron Batman. Welcome. Welcome to my base. <laughs> Jeremy says, maybe I grab too much. We don't make mistakes. accidents. And there we go. So take this tiny floor right here. I'm going to move it right on top of the eyebrow. And we'll do that with all three of these. Just go right up in a little L shape. Move it across the top. And do the same thing on the other side. One and two. Hold on a second. Nope, that's right. Two and three. top of this eyebrow right here. We're just going to count up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like it's got a total of six up. So let's take that large floor and count how many pixels we got. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Looks like we have eight. How many did I say? One, two, three, four, five, six. We should be okay to go up just a little bit more. If we go straight off the top of this. And that will make it symmetrical for us. So we'll go one right there. Nope, that did not make it symmetrical. We're gonna need to do a, a tall, smooth wall. We do turn, rotate, turn it again. And we can go right here. Make it nice and even. And we should have a, another smooth wall. It's only two pixels big. It just slides in right there. That'll be good. Now, can we uh, turn that on its edge? Will that fit? It won't fit quite, those, quite where we want it to. But we can rotate, turn, rotate again. And get this to slide in there like that. Use up a little bit less wood. Have it just kind of poke out the back here, which is perfectly fine. Any way that we can use up a little bit less wood, then that makes me makes me happy. So that's the dark. We're gonna need this uh, this amber color here. I think Is that the same color. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice good color. We'll go off to the other end and start chopping there as well. As we come towards the end of our creation and just start to appreciate all the different intricacies of how, how everything's put together, how we put it on the canvas. There's, there's some people who come to me and they say, "Code, uh, I'm too old to try, too old to, to get into video games or to get into, to lumber." And I say, "You're, you're never too old. You're only too young to understand. That's all." So, looks like this is going to be a two pixel right here. We can build that down here. And if I'm not mistaken, we should be able to use some post. If we turn them up on edge, we're gonna need one there. Then we can use a small floor, which is two pixels wide, to fill in the back end of this side right here. So just turn it down like that. Good. this in, turn it, and just slide that one in right there. Good. Now, we need to bring that beard on around and up to the top here. And to do that, where do we leave off? Right there on the edge, didn't we? So, let's go ahead we're going to use those small floors again because it looks like it's going to be 
two pixels by two pixels by two pixels, just all the way around there. If we need three on that side, we're gonna need three on the other side as well. One, two, and three, like that. And we'll fill those in first. That way we don't get too far ahead of ourselves. See a, a little little bit right there, just not wanting to fill in correctly. Looks like that might be too small. Well, oh, it's not too small. So let's come on around this side right here. We're gonna turn this up on its edge two pixels. And then we'll turn another one on its edge right here. For two pixels. Yeah. Good. Move this one. We'll have one right here. We can always fill this little gap in right here with just a single pixel. That should still be at the size that we need so we can reach right up with our, our color and paint the bottom of that beard. So. If, if you haven't done so already, I do want to bring you a, a like, comment, and subscribe sponsorship. There. Just as a, a friendly reminder that if you want to see some of this content, just take your time and relax throughout the day. Be sure to hit that notification bell and we'll bring you some amazing content every time, every day. All right, one, two, three, four. Looks like we need to go up. One, two, three across. One, two, three across. Well, we don't have anything that'll go for three, but we do have one that goes for two. And they are super tall. So let's just drop this in here like that. Drop this one in here like that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we'll move this one up one pixel, maybe two. One pixel like that. And one pixel like that. And that should allow us to Bring the end part together. We're just about done. We do floors, just a regular floor. Turn, rotate. We should be able to place the last little bit down. And that's that's gonna be too big. This is the, the top of the afro and we don't want this at the same level as the afro. So let's bring it down some. Let's go back down to the small floor. We're going to go small floor here. And maybe a small floor here. Is that, that too much? Uh, that's going to be a little too much. So let's do a small floor here. So small floor, one pixel down. And small floor right below that. There we go. And bring that post back out. We'll use a post right here and a post 
right here. And we'll just fill in the rest. I think I think a single pixel is all we need, so we'll come back to our brush of the small floor. Right here. We're gonna need one here at the bottom. One here at this bottom. Fill in these two little pixels right here. Actually, since we've got these tiny floors, like I said, we don't make mistakes. We just use the blueprints that we already have set forth for us in all of its glory. Come around to this back side. And you may have to play with it just a little bit, but eventually you'll get right to where that little gap is and push in. Just give give your brush a just a nudge, just a tap right in. We'll go back over to our tiny floors. Fill in the last little bit like that and there we go so that's it for the paintbrush now it's just time to fill it in that is the same color right yeah that is our color right there We've got the auburn color right over here. Just trying to jump on top of Jeremy's head here and give it a little nudge. There we go. And I'm going to do this one backwards. That's okay. Any way you want to do it. Actually, are we able to jump up the back side here? We can't. That is okay. a little chop, just a, a nudge right there on the end. We're going to use this right there in the middle. As a way to step up and finish our, our blueprints. Make sure it's right even. Looks like we need two more up there on that edge. seem to be filling in. Ah, there it goes. Let's go ahead and go on top of the roof. That'll be a good spot. It looks like it slides a little bit. <laughs> hmm. Well, when you 
got something like that, you can always improvise and add a little something to the opposite side of it. So we'll just set that down right there. We'll just jump up with the whole thing. Oh, it feels like somebody's trying to to load in a, a massive base. There we go. Oh, I think that's Crazy Pump. Hey there, Crazy Pump. How you been? Looks like there may have been a little bit of a dupe right there. A little bit of a duplication or a little bit of a lag spike of some kind. Which, again, no such things as accidents. We make. Now, no, we. We don't make mistakes. We make some happy accidents. A little cloud of hair right here. A little cloud of hair over there. A little puff, a little, little push, grab it, lift it, fluff it. Almost done. pixel art is the enjoyment that you get after you're finished and you know you've proven to yourself and to, to someone else that you did that you made that happen Last one is done, and I'm very proud of this one. I think we're going to take one of these floodlights and highlight it in all of its glory. Just like that. Thank you everyone for joining us in this episode of The Joy of Lumber. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you'd like. If you don't want to, hey, that's okay too. We love you very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye everyone. Hey there, everyone. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the love and support throughout the years. And I've, I've always really wanted to do this because Bob Ross is one of my heroes and I'm not going to get a chance to record for you guys tomorrow. Cause I have a special recording that is coming out for uh, Friday and everybody's there. It's going to be a big thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to see it. You're, you're not going to be ex able to escape it. It's going to be just this amazingness. So instead of my doing this one for Friday, which is supposed to be just before Halloween, came in here, got dressed, set it all up. I had to start this recording four or five different times. Now I, I would say seven to eight times just because I was so nervous. I don't feel worthy of portraying Bob Ross. Everybody 
says, oh, it's Code Ross, or hey, it's Code Rogers, and I just, I never felt like that. They've always been my heroes. Like, I've never felt like I'm that kind of hero to someone. Oh, and we missed one. You know what? That little one right there, that little pixel. Hold on, you can't see it, can you? That little pixel right there, up on top. I'm gonna leave it blank to show that sometimes life isn't always completed. Sometimes stuff happens. So, thank you guys for the opportunity, and I hope you enjoyed it. If anybody took offense to this, this is completely in dedication. Like, I love Bob Ross. I love everything he's done. I love his paintings. I can only imagine to try and achieve what he did and how he made people feel. So, I love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. I'm going to do the outro. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com.